Hello students, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn lesson number 11, cell structure and microorganisms. The body of living organism is made up of minute component called cell. The number of cells are different and specific for every living organism. We have learned that cellular organization is the primary characteristic of all living organisms and that the cell is the fundamental structural and functional unit of living organisms. There are organizational levels in living organisms. These are cells, tissues, organs, organ systems, organism. Cells form the basis of the structure and function of all living organisms. It is only with the help of cells that living organisms carry out all their different life processes. Measurement and observation of cells Anton van Leeuwenhoek constructed first microscope in 1673. For the first time, he observed live bacterial and protozoan cells under this microscope. Cells are minute in size and can be seen only with a compound microscope. The units used for measuring the sizes of cellular structure is micrometer and nanometer. 1 centimeter is equal to 10 millimeters. 1 millimeter is equal to 1000 micrometers. So 1 micrometer is equal to 1000 nanometers. Observe carefully the diagram of compound microscope shown on the screen. You have to draw and label it properly in your classwork. Cell size. There is great variation in the shapes of cells. Their shapes are mainly related to their function. Observe the cells of different shapes shown on the screen. Cells are of many different shapes. Example, circular, rod shaped, columnar, spiral, oval, rectangular, etc. Each cell contains various components for carrying out the life processes of the living organism. These components are called organelles. These organelles are studied in detail with the help of the electron microscope which can magnify images up to 2 billion times their actual size. There are two main types of cells, animal cells and plant cells. These cells consist of various types of membrane bound cell organelles. Plant cells have a definite shape due to the presence of the cell wall around them. Besides, unlike animal cells, plant cells contain single large vacuole. All these cells are known as eukaryotic cells. The nucleus is the most important organelle of the cell. There is a porous double membrane around it. The nucleus controls all functions of the cell. The endoplasmic reticulum is a sprawling net-like organelle. Its function is to make necessary changes in the proteins produced by ribosomes and send them to the Golgi bodies. Golgi bodies are made up of several flat sacs. Their function is the proper distribution of proteins. Mitochondria and plastids are organelles with double outer coverings. As mitochondria produce energy, they are called the powerhouses of the cell. The chloroplasts in plant cells carry out the function of photosynthesis. Vacuoles help to throw out waste products of the cell. Vacuoles in animal cells are small whereas there is only one large vacuole in a plant cell. The cell has four main parts, the cell wall, cell membrane, cytoplasm and cell organelles. First one, cell wall. The cell wall is the outermost covering of a cell. It is present only in plant cells. Second, plasma membrane. The plasma membrane, also called the cell membrane, is a kind of thin covering. It is extremely delicate and flexible. It is the outermost covering of animal cells. Next is cytoplasm. The liquid part in the cell present around the nucleus is called cytoplasm. It occupies the space between the plasma membrane and nucleus. Cell organelles are scattered in the cytoplasm. Next is Cell organelles. 
दिस मेनली इंक्लूड द न्यूक्लियस एंडोप्लास्मिक रेटिकुलम कॉलगी बॉडीज लाइजोसम्स माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया वैक्यूल्स प्लास्टिड्स एक्सेट्रा प्लांट सेल्स कंटेन क्लोरोप्लास्ट स्टूडेंट्स यू हैव टू राइट ऑल दिस पॉइंट्स इन योर क्लास वर्क प्रॉपरली डिफरेंस बिटवीन प्लांट सेल एंड एनिमल सेल एनिमल सेल इज शोन ऑन द स्क्रीन यू हैव टू रीड इट केयरफुली एंड ऑल्सो कॉपी इट डाउन इन योर क्लास वर्क सो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस पार्ट ऑफ वीडियो यू लर्न अबाउट सेल एंड सेल स्ट्रक्चर इन द नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ दिस वीडियो we shall learn about microorganisms till then read the lesson carefully and draw the diagrams properly and label it